Since the very beginning of Fortnite's existence, I have been hoping for an effective mid-range weapon. For a brief two-week period, we got one in the form of the Silence SMG when it was unbelievably overpowered, but since that time almost a year ago, it seems like Epic was afraid to try and create a balanced mid-range weapon. Until today, that is. The Tactical Assault Rifle was introduced into the game a couple of days ago, and today we're going to break it down and try to determine where it fits into Fortnite. Buckle up for this one because in order to truly understand this weapon, there is going to be a lot of information coming at you. To start out, let's take a look at the in-game stats for this weapon. The Tactical AR comes in three variants, Rare, Epic, and Legendary, doing 22, 23, and 24 body shot damage respectively. When it comes to headshot damage on this weapon, it has a smaller multiplier than normal at only 1.7 times, whereas most weapons feature a 2 times headshot multiplier. This weapon also features a fire rate of 7 bullets per second, which is slower than the drum gun which fires 9 bullets per second, but faster than the normal assault rifle which fires 5.5 bullets per second. It has a magazine of 30 and a reload speed of 2 seconds for the highest rarity. Moving on to the information not stated in game, the Tactical AR has a surprisingly fast draw speed at 3 tenths of a second. That's 3 hundredths of a second faster than most weapons, such as the SMGs and the other ARs. Unfortunately, this weapon suffers from the same fate as the pistol in that the weapon is ready before you would expect it to be. The weapon is ready to be fired at this exact moment after swapping to it, but you'd never expect it to be because it's basically pointing straight up. I'm not sure why Epic doesn't speed up the animation if they're going to give the weapon a faster draw speed, but I won't spend any more time on it as we still have a lot of information to cover. From here, let's move on to the damage drop off for this weapon, and this is where we're going to start to see why this weapon was designed to be used at mid range, as I alluded to earlier. The tactical AR starts damage drop off at 7 planks and ends damage drop off at 15 planks, where it will continue to do 66% of its original damage. Compared to the drum gun, which by the way had a damage nerf since the last time we spoke about it, you can see that the tactical AR is much more favorable in terms of damage drop off. Same story goes for the Silence SMG, which has the most severe damage drop off of any weapon currently in the game. Compared to the assault rifles, that being the normal AR and the heavy AR, the tactical AR isn't favored as much. But of course that is what you would expect from a mid-range weapon. It's a given that it will drop off sooner than solar firing long range weapons. Now of course the silenced pistol as we've discussed in previous video also has a similar damage drop off profile. It's somewhere in between the close range SMGs and the long range assault rifles. The problem with the pistol, of course, was that it was so inaccurate that it was unable to take advantage of its damage drop off. And that brings us to the greatest advantage of the tactical assault rifle, its accuracy. Right here is a bullet by bullet comparison of the tactical AR, drum gun, silenced SMG, and silenced pistol when aiming down sights and strafing. Absolutely insane. The tactical AR blows every close range weapon completely out of the water. When it comes to the long range weapons, the normal and heavy AR, the heavy AR actually is nearly identical to the tactical AR for the first two bullets, but once again as we progress, the tactical AR is the clear winner. So far, the tactical AR is shaping up to be unstoppable, but of course there are some downsides and this is where things are going to get a little crazy, but bear with me because this information is extremely important. Right here, I have the 6 weapons we've been comparing so far in this video, and what we're going to do is take the time it takes these weapons to do 100 damage at 5 different ranges. These ranges are measured in planks, but remember that one plank is simply 5 meters, so we're measuring from 20 meters all the way up to 100 meters. Keep in mind that these numbers I'm going to give you are the best possible scenarios for each weapon, meaning that you have to hit every single bullet in order for that weapon to reach its fastest time. So granted, the weapons that are more accurate have a higher chance of reaching their fastest time, whereas the weapons that are less accurate are less likely to do so. Let's start at 4 planks or 20 meters. At this range, we can immediately see the disadvantage of the tactical AR. It has the slowest speed at 57 hundredths of a second. Moving on to 8 planks or 40 meters, we can see the immediate downfall of the silence SMG. It becomes absolutely pathetic from this point on because of its massive damage drop off. 
Other than the Silence SMG, the Tactical AR is still the slowest weapon however at this range. Continuing on, the drum gun is the next weapon to have a slower speed than the Tactical AR, but when we keep going to the final two sections, you can see that the Tactical AR is overtaken by the drum gun again. 20 planks or 100 meters is the point where none of these weapons will have another change in potential speed, meaning that there is only one weapon that is slower than the Tactical AR from that point on. This right here is where we understand why this weapon having incredible accuracy is bounds. Because at every range, this weapon is outclassed in potential by almost every other weapon. And by the same state of mind, we can see that the silenced pistol outclasses a lot of other weapons at a lot of ranges, but we know that that weapon isn't quite as good because its accuracy is so poor. So what does this mean for the overall state of the tactical AR? Well, let's give some examples. Let's say you're going up against someone with a drum gun while you're using the tactical AR and both of you fire your weapons at the exact same time. If both of you are committed to the engagement until death, then you have to pray that your opponent will miss some bullets due to his gun being less accurate. Because if he doesn't miss a single bullet, you have zero chance of winning due to you having less potential speed on your weapon. Here's another situation to consider. Let's say you have the same weapons as before your opponent a drum gun and you a tactical AR. If you have a faster reaction time than your opponent and start doing damage before the drum gun user, you have a way higher chance of winning that encounter because you got the first shot in, negating the drum gun's advantage, and you also have the clearly superior weapon in terms of accuracy. So similar to the weapon we discussed in my previous video, the combat shotgun, the tactical AR is another weapon that rewards high skill players. It takes a high amount of skill to wield but in return you are given the advantage in a lot of situations where you are the better player. I will say however that I think the tactical AR is a little more friendly to the general population than the combat shotgun is. The low skill and high skill player alike can take advantage of the tactical AR, but the big advantages that are offered by the tactical AR are only going to be taken advantage of by that higher skill player. Finally, I have one last piece of information to give out that will once again shine fondly on the tactical AR. Right here is a graph that represents you trying to shoot a turtling player. Sonic is the representative of your opponent who is turtling and holding down turbo build to try and stop you from shooting them. The speed of turbo building allows you to build every 5 hundredths of a second, but depending on your opponent's connection, your connection and the refresh rate of the Fortnite servers themselves, there can be an additional delay that allows bullets to sneak in on turtling opponents. So when we move Sonic down the line, we can see that a drum gun or silence SMG user would benefit from this the soonest, giving them the opportunity to take advantage of scenarios where you can sneak in bullets. Then comes the tactical AR, followed by the normal assault rifle, and then finally the heavy AR. So clearly the drum gun is going to be the option you want to go for when you are right up next to an opponent since it has the fastest fire rate and the largest magazine. But it's not going to be for longer ranges because the tactical AR has zero damage drop off when it comes to builds whereas the silence SMG and the drum gun do not. And not only that but the tactical AR also does more damage to builds than it does to opponents being able to do 28 per shot for the highest rarity. So if we were to take a look at how long it takes these weapons to do 100 damage to the environment when anywhere 50 meters or further, that's 10 planks, the tactical AR is one of, and in my personal opinion, the best long range build destroyer out there. Not only does it destroy builds quickly, but it also does it extremely effectively due to its accuracy. The accuracy being so much better than other weapons allows it to hit players behind the builds where other weapons wouldn't be nearly effective at doing so. But there we have it, there's so much to talk about with this weapon, including the fact that it takes small ammo instead of medium ammo, but I think this video is long enough already. This weapon has a lot of benefits to it, but also has some drawbacks that balances it out nicely. Hats off to Epic for coming up with the first truly unique weapon we've seen in a long time, and although it has taken quite a while, I think I finally have my medium range weapon. If you're new here and you like this type of content, feel free to subscribe. If you'd like to support me when spending V-Bucks or when purchasing games in the Epic Games Store, you can do so by using my code FLAM. Thank you to all of you who made it to this point in the video. I truly do appreciate it, and I'll catch you all in my next video.